Mistral has officially launched a new Mamba model. This is an exciting news if you're a fan of architectures that are alternative to transformers. This model is a coding specific model. I mean, it is fine tuned for programming related tasks. This is not a model that is just like a theoretical model or just on a research paper. The model weights can be downloaded locally today on your computer. Even though we are not going to see live coding today on this particular video, I was quite excited that there is a new Mistral model that is not a transformer based model so I couldn't have stopped myself from making this video. This model code still Mamba is also special because it comes with Apache 2.0 license which means you can pretty much do anything that you want whether you want to host it for commercial use cases you can do it. Mistral mentioned that they tried this model with 256,000 context window and this model worked fine. That means it is going to be insane for coding related tasks. I think this is probably a leap forward in open models if this model actually works on a consumer grade hardware with that kind of huge amount of context window. The model is a code still Mamba. So this is a new model that they just launched a couple of hours back. What is this model? This model, as the name suggests, it is a coding specific code still model, but with a new architecture called Mamba. So Mamba until now, we have seen multiple Mamba models. On this channel, we have seen the base Mamba, Mamba vision model. This is the first time like a frontier research unit, Crystal AI, this French startup, has released a Mamba based model. We have had A21 Labs releasing or announcing a Mamba based model, but that model was never open source. So this is, completely insane mind-blowing that a frontier research institute has released an open model which is quite competitive so if you see here uh, when you compare codestyle mamba with other models even when you compare codestyle with 22 billion parameter codestyle which is mistral's another coding model mamba model is quite competitive in a lot of different cases so you can see on human evil mamba is 75 percent while codestyle was 81 percent and if you see code shell Mamba with other models with similar sizes, uh, code Gemma, human level 61% while code shell Mamba is 75%. Deep Seek 7 billion parameter model, you can see here that uh, the, some of they are compared with Deep Seek 1.5, but Deep Seek 2 is already available. So uh, here you can see uh, on different benchmarks like MBBP, this model is almost competitive with the existing transformer based models. And in fact, it is much better than some other models like Code Llama and uh, Code Gemma. This particular model in this case, Code Still Mamba is not just like for the benchmarks, but it is primarily for its uh, capability to handle increasing amount of context window without having to quadratically multiple your memory. See the problem with transformers is, I mean, not the problem. The good thing with transformers is got, it has got attention. Of course, attention is all you need, but also the attention comes with uh, the cost of uh, memory. So if you want to expand the tokens, uh, the context window, you have to increase the memory quadratically. And that is where people started exploring sub quadratic memory expansion. So look, anytime I can linearly expand my context window, but doesn't, I don't have to quadratically expand my uh, computation. And in that family, Mamba has been quite successful. We have seen Mamba again and again on this channel. And this model says that at least uh, Mistral says that we have tested code still Mamba on in context retrieval capabilities. I'm quite surprised that they mentioned this, but they did not release something like, uh, let's say a needle in a haystack kind of an experiment. That's very surprising for me that they did not do that on in context retrieval capabilities up to 256,000 tokens. We expect it to be a great a local code assistant. One of the reasons that, that uh, Mistral says that they chose this particular framework is because you have a large code base usually whenever you are dealing with code and uh, this model, this architecture seems to be like a good fit for uh, use cases where you have a large amount of in context window, which is programming computer programming in this particular case. So unlike transformer models, Mamba models offer advantage of a linear time inference and the theoretical ability to model sequences of infinite length. It allows users to engage with the model extensively with quicker responses irrespective of the input length. So the speed and also computation efficiency. This efficiency is especially relevant for code productive use cases, productivity use cases. This is why we train this model with advanced code and reasoning capabilities, enabling it to be on par with state of the art transformer based models. You can, if you want to use this model in production environment, this can be deployed through TensorRT LLM 
or you, if you just want to use it in code, which I'll make a separate video about, you can use Mistral's own inference SDK and then use this model. Uh, there might be a uh, support from Llama CPP upcoming, which we can do probably look forward to. But if you want to use the raw weights, uh, you can go to the Hugging Face platform and just go download the raw weights. Or you have to just accept that you know you will not violate any condition. But then you have got the consolidated dot ten safe tensors file, which you can download and then start using it with the Mamba SSM library. And uh, they've also given you the code for inference if you want to do it. And as we can expect, if once it comes in Llama CPP, then we can start right away using it in Olama, LM Studio, Jan, whatever that you like to use for local inference, you can start using it. For early testing, they have also made code still Mamba available on La Platforme. Uh, my French is quite bad. This is a platform that Mistral has been uh, trying to make people use for their own inference uh, purposes. And uh, this model along with the CodeStrel 22 billion parameter model is available. So while CodeStrel 22 billion parameter model is available under a commercial license, CodeStrel Mamba, which they just released, is available under Apache 2.0 license. In this particular case, this is an instructed model with uh, 7 billion parameter model. So this is quite exciting uh, to know that um, this is a model that can follow instructions and uh, it's under a new architecture. So um, this is, I'm quite fascinated and uh, lost, lost of words here because um, this is something that I've been looking forward to having an alternative architecture that is compute efficient uh, that can expand with context window but that is also released by a frontier research lab, not just like uh, somebody uh, doing a research and uh, coming up with a new architecture. And we have covered most of these new architectures as in when these architectures uh, came to be available. But this is the first time um, I felt that, okay, there is a new architecture that is released by a big frontier research um, institute or even like a model institute like an LLM company and that is also available for us to use and that is also on par with a transformer based architecture. So I cannot wait to see what people are going to uh, do with this. Uh, surprisingly, they did not release the base model. This is an instruction model. So maybe people are going to fine tune this. I've already seen a couple of uh, Mamba fine tuning scripts in the past. So I'm not sure if people are going to fine tune this and also improve. And also it's not just the benchmarks. I want to actually play with the model and then see. So stay tuned. We're going to have a hands-on tutorial about using CodeStrel Mamba. Let me know what you think about this new architecture and the new direction of uh, large uh, frontier research um, agencies releasing these kind of models. Quite fascinating for me. But I don't know if you actually believe in or look forward to Transformers alternatives if you were to actually go to AGI. Um, so let me know in the comment section what you feel. See you on the video. Happy prompting.